right guys we're gonna be starting a waydo seeds today these are the waydo seeds sitting in hot water because a waydo seeds are hard seeds difficult to germinate will not germinate evenly because the seed coat the seed coat of the waydo seed is difficult for water to penetrate and therefore germination can be difficult we do is the nigerian jute leaf and i got the seeds of course from true love seeds i have some that i already harvested started these ones from seeds two months ago and today i will show you how to start the we do from seeds to ensure that you get fast and even germination so trick number one soak your seeds in hot water you know i just put water in the microwave when it was hot put it on a filter like this so i can easily take it out you know not for too long you know once the water gets cold that is fine okay so next i'm gonna prepare where i will start the seeds in a container i'm using this container right here it has holes you can also use an aluminum tray so you can also use one of these trays make sure you put holes on the bottom okay okay but i have this one and that one i'm gonna use okay, so the next step will be to create where our seeds are gonna grow and i get a lot of questions about this guys us starting african vegetable seeds in containers requires a little bit of thought i'm just gonna show you and explain what i am doing so here is moisture control potting mix I'm going to put that at the bottom of my container. This is miracle Grow potting mix soil. You can use any potting mix soil. Okay. So I'll start by putting a layer of that at the bottom. So this one has nutrients. It's formulated to be used in containers and so on and so forth. But as you can see, sometimes it can have like really large chunks of wood and when you are working with tiny seeds like a wedu seeds super tiny seeds if you throw your seeds in there a wedu seeds water leaf seeds and it lands on one of these then guess what will happen it will struggle to germinate or it might not germinate at all but we want the nutrients we want our seeds to germinate and grow into something that has nutrients so we are gonna fill up part of our container with that. Now, what you can do next is you can get a seed starting mix. That's what I have here. They sell these. This one, I bought a brick, seed starting mix brick, and then it has instructions for rehydrating it. You just pour water on it, and then it expands and creates something like this. This is cocoa core. It's very light. It doesn't have the chunks of wood, you know this is for seed starting but this one does not have nutrients you want your 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 seeds to sprout and then grow right let me show you an example here here is bitter leaf you see it's growing into the soil so if i only use a seed starting mix that does not have nutrients then in the growing state um, the plant is going to struggle so that's why i put this at the bottom and then next oh what i can also do is throw in a handful of warm castings don't know if you can see that warm castings is an organic fertilizer a soil builder i really really like it I'll show you how it looks like. So I just get a handful. A handful is enough. So this is warm castings. I'm just setting up my soil, you know. This is optional. You don't have to do it. Me, I like to set up my soil. So I don't need to be adding stuff later on. Okay. So I'm going to put that and mix it in like so. Okay. And then the next step now i'm gonna put that seed starting mix right on top so instead of filling the entire container just with seed starting mix one is expensive two it doesn't have nutrients i put the seeds the um, 
nutrient stuff at the bottom then put this one on top and then plant my seed on top of this it's light it won't block obstruct germination and then i don't get to use a lot of it okay i hope it makes sense you know if i'm just starting one pepper seed i can get a tiny cell and do it using just the seed starting mix and then start to up pot it but when you start having tiny seeds and many of them to grow and you want to grow them for a while i think this makes a lot of sense this is already wet you know because like i explained to you i had to add water to this to hydrate it so it's wet and now it's time to plant our seeds our ewedu seeds okay all right let's try and get this done Just gonna tiny seeds try not to cover them too much you cover them too much bury them with too much soil they might never come up so what i do is i just try to make contact have the seeds make contact with the soil by pressing it in and then it's warm enough for us down here so this stays absolutely outdoors I'm doing this for outdoor germination if you want you can put a plastic dome over it just to create that greenhouse effect and guys i'm gonna put my plastic dome over it just because i don't want it to rain and push my seeds water down so we're gonna put this plastic dome over it Guys, I'm not sure if you can grow a way doing containers, but you will never know if you don't try. And so I'm going to put some of the Iwedu plants in containers in my five gallon buckets right here. And I'll put four of them in here. All right, guys, these are the four buckets of the way do all planted. I did put four in each bucket and we'll see how it does now i just need to water this and we're done Alright guys, this is our harvest, our total harvest for today. I will process and cook this. So if you're interested in seeing how you process and cook the Iwedu, keep watching. I'm also going to talk about the health benefits of the Iwedu.